Okay. Oh, it's a nice sunset tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to be sending a nuke at this futuristic planet. This planet uh, clearly was not created by humans. It is an advanced species, probably about six or 7,000 years past our evolution. And I'm going to be sending the strongest nuke humanly possible at it and seeing uh, how well it defends a massive, massive nuclear bomb. So, without further ado, let's see what ends up happening here. We have the massive nuke headed towards it. See, you can tell this planet is, I mean, it's clearly superior to anything that human beings could create. Humans did not create this. I don't care how advanced we get. Let's see what happens here. And the, just as I suspected, see, they do have a force field covering it. Let's see what happens with the down blast effect of this. Wow, that's impressive. So that is a strong force field. That is a very powerful nuclear bomb. And as you can see, this planet is so developed that it does not affect it at all. Now, what I'm going to do is I might send something else at it. Uh... We can send this guy at it and see what he can do here. Uh, we'll see how advanced this species is. Now, see, this will be interesting because if this dragon thing is actually advanced enough, it should be able to detect that this is a force field and it should not bang into it. Let's see how advanced this species is. It should be able to detect it. You should be able to d detect the force field here. Let's see if how smart this thing actually is. There's no way this thing... Let's see what it does here. Let's see how it handles this. This thing's an idiot. Does it get through? Does it break? Oh my, it broke the force field. Oh my, what is that thing? It actually broke the force field and there's some sort of massive nuclear... I think the force field has it stuck in there now. The force field has trapped this dragon and it's trying to break out. It can't break out. It can't, the force field trapped it. All right, it got out. Wow, what is that thing? That's a massive ball. It looks like a nuclear bomb or something. Um, we're just gonna send a bunch of nukes at it and see what happens, because I think the force field is still equipped. That might be what equips the force field. I'm not exactly sure, but what I end up doing is I just get pissed at these planets, so this is what I do. I just say, you know what? Why don't you just have about 400 of these nukes and let's see if you can handle them. Let's see if this thing can handle these nukes. Let's see how its force field does. I got like 30 of them coming. Where'd that dragon get? Oh, it's already, it's ar it already, it's not spawned in anymore. So the initial blast, it, it should be able to not break on the initial blast, but we'll see. Oh yeah, it, oh my goodness. I just destroyed the freaking planet. But the ball is still in there. And it re-equips the force field. Okay, so I know what I have to do here. What you, The thing is, what you have to do is you have to set, send some nukes in, wait a little bit, and then send some more in and get it inside that ball. You got to destroy the ball. That's what's holding the force field together. I realize what's going on here. This is not going to work against me. You think this is going to work against me just because you're a future planet? Did you wait for the force field to be not equipped anymore? And then the other ones should nail it. Yep, there you see the ball just exploded. This, oh my goodness, I'm just, that's just really bright. Are you kidding me? There's no way. Oh my, how is it still alive? So this ball seems indestructible. And it re-equips the force field. So I'm just going to get really close. I don't really care. Let's break the freaking force field again. I'll tell you what. This planet is... This force field is impressive. I can't even see. And... Dude, come on. You know what? I'm just gonna bomb everything. You made me do it. You made me do it. That's the problem. You made me freaking bomb everything. I'm so tired of this.
get inside there. I'm sick of this planet still. I think they made it in. Yeah, there's some that made it in. I will say, this is impressive. It's taken like 5,000 nukes to destroy this planet. It is impressive. And it still is equipped. Okay, that ball is impenetrable. You can't kill it. You know what? I'm going to have to bring out the big guns here. Hold on. Wait a second. Just wait a s Is this what it was? What is that thing? I don't know what I just called in. This thing's... Uh, let me just see something. Let's see what these idiots can do. They literally just punch it. Yeah, you're dumb. You're gonna hit a force field. All right. Wow, and they destroy the bowl? Well, that was anticlimactic. But that is what ends up happening when you face a futuristic planet. Uh, let me just reset this and see. This is the future. This thing is impressive. It's very strong. Very developed. It has a really good force field. It took me about at least 100 nukes and then those big boys nailing it a bunch to actually destroy the planet. But guys, I hope you have happy holidays. I hope you enjoy the bowl season. How is everyone enjoying the bowl season? Do people enjoy what's going on right now? With the bowl games, I'm just going to end this off by doing something. Hold on. Um, what was that thing that I used to do? Can you just, like... Oh, yeah, this. Watch this. This thing is OP. It literally just destroys everything. <laughs> what? The, it just, the ball is still there. Oh, yeah, now you're going to re-equip. Give me a freaking break. Everyone, what's your favorite bowl game? You know what? I love... You want to know something? Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. You guys want to know something? There goes the bowl. How about the Christmas Day bowl game? Ball State versus Georgia State. I'm hoping for a 6-3 to three final. I think it's going to be the lowest rated bowl game in history. You're putting these two teams on at 2 o'clock on Christmas Day afternoon. When there's NFL football on at four and NBA's on all day, that's just not very nice for the kids. I'm sorry. That's just not very nice. It really isn't. And my mom right now, my mom, I don't even, let me just tell you guys something. My mom is using these dating apps like, uh, what is it, Hinge or whatever. And it's really depressing because she keeps telling me like, you know, I need to be home by seven o'clock. If I'm not home, you know, you need to call the police. I'm like, Jesus, just for dating, you guys got to do that? Like... It's depressing, man. I mean, the, I guess she's meeting some creepy dudes or something. I don't know. Like, I feel like if you go on a date, I guess maybe that's a woman thing, though. Like, you go on a date and you're like, you know, you got to freaking call the police because <laughs> the dudes are wackos. But, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.